Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today I'll be covering MGK's mouth for eyes effect seen in his A music video. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is film your subject with their mouth moving. I tried my best to keep my head still and my mouth from opening too wide. And this shot will also look best if you have head on flat lighting with minimal shadows, but this is the best I could do because I'm shooting right up against the closet in my office and I can't fit the dome light in there. Next you're going to want to shoot your subject without their mouth moving. And it's fine if their head moves, just try to refrain from having them look left or right because that 3D motion with the mouth is not going to translate well on camera because that's going to be really difficult to match when you're having the character move the mouth. So I'd try to limit the rotation to something like this. Now bring your footage into After Effects. The top layer should be the layer with your mouth moving and then the bottom layer should be the one where the subject's mouth isn't moving. Click on that bottom layer and go over to the tracker panel and go track motion. And with mine, my head is moving around and it also has a slight rotation to it. And I did that on purpose so that we could have it look a little more exciting. So with that track motion, we're going to turn on the position and the rotation. And if you want an in-depth look at tracking and after Effects, I just made a Skillshare class that teaches you how and when to use each tracker in After Effects. And there's a link in the description for a free month and you can check out that class. So now with the track points, I put one around each eye and hit the little play button to analyze forward. Now once that tracker is done, go layer, new, null object, and then go back to the tracker and hit edit target, choose that null object, and then hit apply. Now go ahead and reveal that top layer with the mouth moving and now you're going to want to create a mask around the mouth. Now after I made that mask, I played through the duration of the clip just to make sure that that mask stays around the mouth the entire time. And even though I tried to keep my head still, I kind of drifted off to my right a little bit. So because of that, I had to go to the very beginning of the effect and turn on the mask path keyframes and then go to the very end of the effect and then just move the mask accordingly. And then slightly move the mask feather, but later on I'll boost it even more because it's a little easier to tell how much you're going to need to boost it once it's covering the eye. Now if you hit P on the keyboard, you can bring up the position values and reposition your mouth to cover the eye and then if you hit S on the keyboard you can bring up the scale so that you can then scale down the eye to perfectly cover it and not look too big. I once again adjusted the mask feather. Now I duplicated that mouth layer by holding command and typing D and then reposition that new layer to cover the other eye. And now parent both those mouth layers to the null object and it should be tracked in and from here you can just keep playing around with the feather, the position, the scale. If anything's not looking right, maybe the two mouths are sitting too far apart or maybe they're too big or small. That's when you can make these adjustments and really fine tune this effect. And then that's it. That's how you do the mouth for eyes effect seen in MGK's A music video. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.